All right, y'all. Another another great video. Chef Prime here. Uh, today's video, we're gonna look at. This is very interesting, really. So, how gas station pizza became the most popular pizza in America. This is a very, very, very touchy subject because we have a lot of uh, pizza chefs that live and die by what they really cook. And you just cannot construct a pizza, uh, the dough, anything in any old manner and think that's going to fly. These, these type of chefs are some of the most hardcore, touchy, emotional chefs that you could come by. These pizza uh, chefs, Palazzios, I believe is how you pronounce them. Uh, these pizza chefs, very, very, very touchy. So I'm dying to see how did pizza that's created in a gas station became the most popular pizza to eat? So let's jump right into it. Capital of America. Um, I'm sorry, uh, can we take that again? I flew out to the gas station pizza capital of America, the outskirts of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's the home to over 42. Okay, all right. So for one, I had to pause this. Why is he standing out in front of a BP gas station? This is this is a little sketchy here. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what this pizza brand Two is. Two gas stations that serve hot pizza. And I'm here to figure out why the business is booming here and across the country and how you, or even I, could get into it. Because it's an unorthodox business model that presents a surprisingly profitable opportunity. So I pack my bags. Dad's going on a pizza vacation. Headed to the airport. It smells like pizza. Got on a plane to Milwaukee and talked to some locals about gas station pizza. Have you ever had Home Brothers pizza before? Every morning. Every morning? Oh my God. It's delicious pizza. Their breakfast pizza, a must have. Do you know how much money this business makes every year? No. Do you want to know? Not really. <laughs> I started my whole investigation after hearing this on the My First Million podcast. Hunt Brothers Pizza. These guys went in and basically found a new way to do the pizza business. Okay, so this is definitely something I'm going to be looking into uh, to see if they are a franchise. Because if they're getting this much popularity and notoriety, um, yeah, I'm... Yeah, some, some interest. My little my little investing antennas is up. Um, Hunt's Brothers Pizza is the business name. Something I'm going to look into really right after I get done with this recording. And they're growing very, very fast. And there's an extremely high density of Hunt Brothers outside Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Well, I think I'm about ready and it's time to go. Dad's going to eat pizza. Okay, so Hunt Brothers actually isn't alone, but it's the largest pizza chain in the entire country. And among gas station pizza sellers, Hunt Brothers relies solely on pizza revenue. Yet it has over 9,000 stores and that's 2,000 more than Domino's. And it generates an estimated annual revenue of 24 to $30 million. But it wasn't always what it is today because it actually got its start as a wholesale pizza business. Brothers Don, Lonnie, Jim, and Charlie Hunt had worked in their father's restaurant growing up and decided to make a living together in wholesale food distribution. In 1962, the brothers created Pepe's Pizza, which sold pizza ingredients to local businesses. Their clients ranged from restaurants and bars to venues like bowling alleys and drive-in theaters. They sold the rather successful Pepe's in 1981, and in 1991, they came back together to form Hunt Brothers Pizza. This time, they took the base of their previous wholesale business and applied it to a micro restaurant business, installing pizza making capabilities in pre existing stores like gas stations and convenience stores. I just got to my hotel and now I'm going to get some rest. I'm going to get up with an empty stomach. I'm going to eat as much pizza as I can and ask as many questions as I can. And I'm not going to stop until I'm out of both. It's time to uncover some hard truths. Oh, seatbelt. I forgot about that part. It's time to uncover some hard truths about the world of gas station pizza. Have you ever had Hunt Brothers pizza before? Every morning. Every morning? Yeah. Oh my God. All the time. 
I have several times. How many is several? I'd say every weekday for the past like three weeks. It's delicious pizza and people, they eat the hell out of it. What do you think the best part about the pizza is? Do you think it's the taste or the convenience? Probably a combination of both. Both of those for sure, super convenient. Also though, the taste is amazing. Their breakfast pizza, a must have. And we're back in third quarter planning. Adams is quarterbacking this project and she is looking pretty tight. After getting the public's opinion. Okay, y'all. So when I had my head down, I was just on their website, uh, Hunt, H U N T, Brothers Pizza. So H U N T, Brothers with a S, pizza.com. Uh, so if you're viewing the video, here's my phone. Hopefully, hopefully you could check it out. Right. Hopefully you could uh, let me get myself uh, 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 right there. All right. So if you can see that hunt brothers pizza dot com. So they do not have a franchise, but what they do have is a partnership model. Whereas let me get into their thing here. It says partner with us as one of the icons you could click on their website and it shows like a. A cart that have all of the fixings on there uh it got like two screens um i don't know how they will make the pizza but they got they got it where if you have um a gas station or like a sea market type of uh business you can actually retrofit their cart within your space uh, so it's a partnership and it says um, uh, with experience in the and I'm reading off of their website uh, with experience in the convenience store space since 1991 Hunt Brothers Pizza makes food service simple uh, success simple uh, from high profit margins to easy operations and free marketing. We have uh, perfected our branded pizza program so you can easily profit from hunt brothers pizza in your store then it says right here download branded pizza guide which i have done because I, I like models like this this is um this is very catchy very catchy and then uh they also have their own car it looks like a nascar it's uh ford it looks like a uh ford mustang nascar but bring the power of a nationally branded pizza program to your store. Uh, easy to make, provide and great taste in pizza. That's easy for you to make program designed for a fast paced. Oh, look at this. C store environment using existing labor, pizza shop and equipment options to fit your store. Quality products are easily prepped for a consistent flavor that consumers crave now obviously i'm not going to read off every little micro detail in their web page but let me show you this map of all of their current locations they cover at least 70 percent of the united states if y'all can see that there so they cover a lot they cover really a lot over 9,000 locations as they said but um, anyway, let's get back to to some more juicy details. But so far, so good. Opinion on gas station pizza. I went even deeper with the managers and owners of these gas stations. What do you think this is the best part about Hunt Brothers Pizza? I think Hunt Brothers Pizza is actually amazing pizza. The reason why it sells so well here, I think, is because we are right in the middle of you know Wisconsin, Illinois. So everyone has to come past here to get into Milwaukee and past here to go to Chicago, stuff like that. How easy is it to carry Hunt Brothers Pizza in your store? It's, it's very simple. People want it. I mean, if we didn't have that, I don't think we'd have half the customers we have come through here. They come in for the pizza because they know the pizza is good. And then they said, well, you know, they figure while well, I'm here, I might as well get other stuff too. Chris told me that his business sells about 600 pizzas a month and each pizza costs $11.99 before tax. That's a lot of pizza income right there. We have regular customers on a daily basis. Uh, from what I've seen, $11.99 for that little pizza that is fit literally in the palm of your hand 
that better be some freaking good pizza. I, I tell you that I have never even heard of these people until now. Um, but apparently they they have a huge cult like following. Um, it's a recognized under brand like people know it when they see it. So, you know, if it sells, it sells. Um, but yeah, I'm really dying to try this this type of pizza out. Basis that come out here just for our pizza. This is how our pizza start. Regular cheese pizza. You know, we put our toppings on them, throw them through our oven, and then package them up, bring it out here. Yeah, it's one of our full pizzas. Oh, it smells really good. <laughs> oh yeah, it just came out. It looks good too. It's actually really good. Yeah, <laughs> really. That's really good pizza, right? I mean, you put chicken, bacon, and ranch on literally right. anything. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'll eat that. So after seeing Chris's location, I had to check out a bigger Hunt Brothers setup. So I met with Laura, the owner of another gas station in Kansasville, Wisconsin, which was only a 20 minute drive away. So we saw another setup today. Um, it seems like they come in different sizes. Do you have to do something extra for a bigger setup like you have in there? Yeah, you have to pay more. There's different levels, different tiers that you can do. You could literally just get the oven and a warmer. So ours was around like 13,000, but it, the packages can go up to 25,000. And I'm assuming you made back your initial investment on that oven. Yes, in a year. The way they have it set up, you're not paying any licensing fees or any cut of the profits going towards them. You buy your setup and then you buy the product from them. Laura also told me that per month, her store sells about 400 pizzas and 50 pounds of wings. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> Where do you get most of your pizza ingredients from? Most of it comes directly from Pizza Wholesale Lexington, located in Mozini, Wisconsin. Laura also confirmed that the pizzas themselves take five minutes to make if the oven is already preheated. Of course, I went out mostly for Hunt Brothers, but while I was in Milwaukee, I had to see how this gas station pizza business could be successful in a different form. To get some more insight, I went to talk with Bob Mould, the district manager at another wildly successful gas station pizza chain called Casey's. We've been in a pretty steady growth. We just opened a bunch of stores in Texas down to Dallas, Fort Worth area. We've been expanding south, Knoxville, Tennessee, Kentucky, and then, yeah, Texas. Mm. It's amazing. <laughs> How important is it for a gas station to offer some? Hey, look, y'all. Look, look. Check this out. So Casey's, this Hunt's Brothers joint, like, all of that is great. Hey, look, if anybody out there... I'm, you know what? Look, there's a Domino's. The Domino's franchises always bustling with customers as well. If anybody out there that work for Domino's that uh, is not too far off from their manager's uh, program that could then segue yourselves into the Domino's franchisee program holla at me i want to go half holla at me trust me i'm looking i'm looking my investing antennas is up um domino's is one of the strongest franchises out there uh very next to uh chick-fil-a look i want to i want to let my pot of investments grow into bigger and better things so if anybody out there in that domino lineup, holla at me. Let's get back to this program right here. Some sort of hot food or like fresh made food on the premises. Do you think it's like a big deal for business? For me, I feel that is a great driver to get a customer to come here versus another you know, competitor or different chain. You can come here and also get the rest of the stuff that you want to get while getting your gas. Where does the distribution come from? So we have three distribution centers that support our 2,600 stores. So we're in 17 states. So uh, truck truck just pulled up in the middle of the shot over here. I think those are horses. No, just hay. So I learned a lot here. All right, so I had a great day in Milwaukee. I learned a ton that I didn't know before. Now it's time to go home and put all this information together. From my time in Milwaukee, a few things are very clear. There is a huge demand for hot food in gas stations. Laura's gas station reported that Hunt Brothers Pizza takes up over 16% of their overall food sales, including hot and prepackaged foods. And Bob called Casey's a business that revolves around pizza and other hot food items, even though it's a gas station. 
Hunt Brothers even advertises gross margins in the 50% range on their website. Am I the only one seeing the business opportunity here? Going back to what started my journey, let's analyze Hunt Brothers Pizza. Hunt Brothers is successful. That's what I'm saying. There's a huge market in pizza. Uh, like I tell people all the time when I'm educating them on the QSR market, pizza was once upon a time in the number one slot. Then it went to uh, burgers. Then it went to chicken wings. Now chicken wings have taken over that number one spot. Uh, pizza slid down to number two, then followed by burgers, then Mexican text mix uh is the number four so uh but ne ne look pizza is is a steep competition very very saturated market but um when you got these low-key brands that's flying under the radar and then able to produce you know over 9200 units uh almost nationwide um, and then when you got names as strong as Domino's and what they're doing for the communities, these are surefire bets. Uh, it's, it's very similar of like you putting your money in the S&P 500. These are surefire bets. It's like it's like investing, you know, if you're the, the, the one percent that could get into a Chick-fil-A franchise, you know, you're going to make money way before the grand opening so it's the same the same thing when you're dealing with this kind of stuff you know and unfortunately uh hunt brothers you know that that uh, uh pizza um you know unfortunately they are not a franchise they are doing licensing deals um you know but hey it is what it is it's a great business model i love their the simple packaging thick uh, pizza crust. Uh, I'll, I'll follow more of the uh, Neapolitan style. I love that thin crust, the, the 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 crunchiness and all that, the butter flavoring on it. Um, but this looks dope too. I'll definitely try uh, the the pizzas, the 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 chicken wings. I'm looking at. I try it. Successful because they're able to scale into any size location, deliver ingredients to those locations, and let you essentially franchise with no contract or fees. All you'd really need is an ingredient supplier like Pizza Wholesale of Lexington and pizza heating equipment that ranges from $13,000 to $25,000. Now let's discuss the thing that matters here. Profits. Here's where I'm going to sound like a word problem for a minute. Laura's Hunt Brothers Pizza sells about 400 pizzas per month. Not including the 50 pounds of Hunt Brothers wings at $12 a pizza, that's about $4,800 a month. Now subtracting Laura's costs for ingredients at approximately $2,275.68 per month, that totals to just over $30,000 of pizza income per year. Chris's store sells around 600 pizzas per month, and by the same math, that's over $45,000 per year of strictly pizza income. These are course are both franchise locations. All right. And, and you know what? Look, as, as a value add to your gas station, those are very strong numbers, especially if those pizza carts is taken, let's say, uh, six or eight square feet of your existing square footage and is bringing in, you know, uh, uh, gross forty five thousand uh, additional revenue into your your business. Hey, those are great additional value added margins. You know, you're you're selling gas by the pump. You you got pizza going and wings, and then you got your your snacks and your drinks uh, collectively in your in your gas station. These are beautiful margins. Now, obviously, as a standalone business. Those would be horrible numbers. You better be pumping that shit out every month. Uh, but for for what is designed to be, you're looking at incredible margins. Locations. If you actually built a full gas station pizza business from the ground up like Casey's, which has an annual revenue of over $14 billion, then that's an even bigger pie in the sky. Whether you're looking to franchise a Hunt Brothers Pizza or start your own business like Casey's, finding a convenience store or gas station location that has little to no hot food options in the few miles around it is a great way to start your prepared food business. However, there could be some blockers on your million dollar gas station pizza journey. For example, Hunt Brothers may have almost 10,000 locations, 
but they're in only 36 states and stopped to a halt at the Rocky Mountains to the west and at New England to the east. That means you can build your business only where you can find a proper distributor for ingredients. For potential Hunt Brothers franchisees, you might be out of luck if you're outside any of these distribution zones. Also, competition-wise, there are many gas stations that offer prepared food. I should know, I was in Milwaukee. Like Speedway, which pulls in $23 billion of annual revenue, and Wawa, which makes $13 billion annually. With all that considered, if you're able to franchise a Hunt Brothers in your store or create your own gas station or convenience store food business, the key is nailing down a distributor, having proper equipment, and picking a high traffic area with limited competition. Gas Station Pizza is clearly not going broke anytime soon, with prepared food sales increasing year over year in gas stations and convenience stores. I found out from Bob that Casey's has made huge expansions in states like Texas, Tennessee, and Kentucky. Since similar businesses like Bucky's are also expanding the gas station model into places like Kansas and Ohio, the Midwest will only get more convenience store food options. And even though Hunt Brothers hasn't pierced markets like New York City, they're closing that gap. In a few years, it looks like the gas station pizza capital won't be Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It'll just be America. 100%. Uh, again, you got all these sub industries when it comes to food and America is already stretched thin uh, when it comes to these different concepts and uh, areas where you can possibly grow your your business your food business into um so really these are the type of business models where you should strongly strongly look at heavily consider don't just think about your joe blow uh inline space if you're dealing with a mall or a center um you got to really think outside the box and sometimes y'all Bigger is not the best way to go. Sometimes if you could create, a, you know, a, a food business model where it could be in secondary locations like universities, airports, gas stations, stuff like that, um, you know, office buildings, you know, stuff like that. Just just think in terms of like that. Uh, you have a much more better chance of succeeding in your food business in those type of uh, second markets uh, spaces. And, you know, the 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 the, the buy in the you know, it, it won't be as extensive as you're trying to fill out, you know, uh, 2000 or 3000 square foot space for your food business. You're only needing to, to fill out you know, 600 to 800 square feet uh, at best. Uh, so the cost to get involved will be substantially low. And as the rates across the board keep going up and as the middle class, middle class is diminishing or being totally wiped off the board and we're just left with poor and wealthy, uh, you need to rethink your business model through and through and scale your sizable business model down considerably. Uh, because right now, this is not the time frame to be coming out with these restaurant concepts or these food businesses where it requires, you know, two, three, four thousand square feet that is not sustainable in the slightest um and you're going to be hard pressed to find out the hard way and hopefully you don't and hopefully you listen to what i'm saying because when i speak about these different topics i'm coming from prime examples of this so look at you know uh get started in the food truck look at these secondary markets look at catering look at these different uh elements that you can still present your food to your ideal clientele and then you could just soar off uh directly from there all right i, I hope that a uh, little bit of information help uh and if you want more information if you have a food or beverage business idea and you want somebody with industry experience hands-on experience classically trained at that if you want somebody professional to, to, to look at your business concept, 
hit me up. Go to nextchefnetwork.com and just let's get that conversation started. I I help out a lot of people when it, in in the food space when it comes to you know unsolicited uh consultant level work. Um yes, it's going to cost you for my time. I'll be up front. I got a team that, you know, on the back end, we all collectively could answer and push you through anything uh, that you're having troubles with as far as your brand. Don't even matter if you started out or you are already existing and you got one, two, three, don't even matter how many locations you have. If you need that help, you know, Next Chef Network, uh, we're here. I could, you know, flow through and I got other people that I could call on and we all jump on and create like a beautiful mastermind, y'all. All right. Each one, teach one. Until then, Chef Prime out. Thank you for your time.